In the 20th century, Atlantic bluefin tuna was heavily commercially fished. To protect the stock, a bluefin tuna management plan was put in place by the International Commission for the Conservation of Atlantic Tunas, ICAT, which has regulated bluefin tuna since 1966. Commercial fishing quotas for Atlantic bluefin tuna were reduced markedly. And now, in 2019, there is evidence of real improvement, particularly in the East Atlantic stock. This stock is thought to have returned to levels not seen since the 1980s. My name is Michael Callahan. I'm a fisherman in, based in Killybegs, County Donegal. Uh, currently, um, during the time off, I'm the skipper of the charter vessel Lea Sea, which is a 36-foot catamaran based in Killybegs. Um, I take general angling um, from Easter until the middle of July, end of August, or beginning of August, um, for normal fishing, pollock, mackerel, herring, on whiting, cod, things like this. But from the middle of July, tuna turn up in Donegal Bay and along all the entire coast of Ireland. There is no recreational fishery for Atlantic bluefin tuna in Irish waters. But in 2019, ICAT granted Ireland permission to operate a bluefin tuna data collection programme known as Tuna Chart. 15 experienced charter skippers around the Irish coast were authorised to catch, tag and release bluefin as part of the data collection programme. This is a collaborative, multi-agency pilot programme between Inland Fisheries Ireland, the Marine Institute, the Sea Fisheries Protection Authority and the parent government departments. The fish tagging information will contribute to our understanding of the distribution, size, structure and migration patterns of this magnificent fish. Tuna chart is also an opportunity for sea anglers who can charter the authorised skippers to take them out to catch bluefin tuna during the open season. I've been fishing my entire life. I started when I was seven years old uh, fishing with my father. And from the age of 12, I started fishing as a deckhand on charter boats here in Killybegs. Um, I'm a skipper of one of the large pelagic boats in Killybegs. I've been commercially fishing for the last almost 30 years. When, after I left school, I started. That was my full-time job, and I've been doing that ever since. Bluefin tuna can be found throughout the Atlantic. They tend to live in the open ocean, but seasonally move close to shore. In Irish waters, Bluefin appear in autumn along the west and southwest coasts. They are excellent thermoregulators. This thermoregulation allows them to dive to depths in excess of 1,000 metres, where they can encounter exceptionally wide ranges of temperature in a short time. The data generated by the Tuna Chart Tagging Programme will provide information on the size, age, movement and distribution of bluefin tuna. Skippers authorised to catch and release tuna as part of Tuna Chart were required to have the highest rated rods, reels and line in order to catch and successfully bring alongside this powerful fish as quickly as possible. Now, in 2016, 
um, the Marine Institute in Ireland uh, decided to look for uh, and target uh, bluefin tuna to scientifically record their movements, their, their habits. And <clears throat> myself and Adrian Malloy for the past three summers have been uh, targeting bluefin tuna and the Marine Institute have been deploying satellite tags and that has proven beyond any doubt that there's huge stocks of bluefin tuna here in Ireland. Um, Dun they're in Donegal Bay but they're all over the entire coast. Um, Donegal Bay seems to be uh, the most noteworthy purely because Adrian Malloy and myself have been successful in targeting these fish. Um, this year um, the government have decided to run a trial uh, project for 15 vessels all over the coast of Ireland to do a tagging project with ICAT tags. Um, I've been fortunate enough to be awarded one of those licenses. As a natural resource, this is just it's something that people don't realise. It's a phenomenal resource that we have here in Ireland. The stock is huge. People watch programmes like Wicked Tuna on TV um, where guys catch 15, 20 fish for 14, 15 weeks fishing. And we've, had, we've had a very good success rate. Uh, we have an average of three, four fish per day. We've had six, seven fish on some days, but we've had blank days also. Um, the biggest problem here in the northwest of Ireland is the weather. Um, it's Ireland, it's the autumn, and you never know what you have to expect. So this year, 2019, the weather has been brutal for the last six weeks. It's been awful. But we've had, even in, on those bad days, we've had a great success catching. Um, as a natural resource, it's something that is here for the Irish people. So far, we have, in, on the scientific end, we've had over 50 fish over the last few years tagged with satellite tags. And all of those fish have survived. There are two breeding stocks of bluefin tuna in the Atlantic. The East Atlantic stock spawns in the Mediterranean and the West Atlantic stock spawns in the Gulf of Mexico. The two stocks share feeding grounds. Bluefin tuna need to move constantly in search of food and to keep water passing over their gills. They are known as ram ventilators. They migrate long distances from the temperate areas where they feed to the tropical areas where they spawn. Bluefin are a long-lived species. They have a lifespan of 40 years and can reach extremely large lengths of over 4 metres and weigh up to 700 kgs. Tuna caught in Irish waters are at least 2 metres long, an estimated 140 kgs or 300 pounds. Once brought alongside, a strong stainless steel lip hook is inserted into the natural gap between the bones in the lower jaw of the tuna. Lip hooking is the optimal way of maintaining control of the fish during tagging and recovery. Although bluefin are incredibly strong, the stress of a long fight time can cause severe lactic acid buildup in the muscle and can impair post-release recovery. Tuna chart requires skippers to measure, tag and check the condition of each bluefin they encounter. After being brought alongside, recovery by swimming the fish alongside the boat and forcing water over its gills for at least five minutes is vital for the successful post-release survival of this fish. ICAT supplied the marker capture tags used by skippers to uniquely identify each fish. These are attached below the dorsal fin. What we have here is world-class fishing with world-class size fish. And I think we have a huge feature in it. From a tourist point of view, this is potentially one of the most important fisheries we've ever had in this country. People travel from all over the world. Uh, yesterday, <clears throat> and I, the weather is too bad today, but yesterday I had people from Singapore. Uh, last week they were from Sweden. 
uh, Scotland, I've had people from Japan, uh, a huge amount of people from Germany uh, and the UK. Due to the success of the 2019 pilot program, Tuna Chart has been extended into 2020 with a longer season and an increase in the number of authorised skippers distributed around the Irish coast. This is an excellent opportunity for the sea angling community at home and abroad to contribute to a scientific tagging programme as citizen scientists, a sustainable way of deriving value from this awe-inspiring species.